Good evening, Helsinki. It's actually um, my third time at Slash, and I think I would be actually a good case study for Slash because the first time I was in at Slash, I was gathering courage to actually start working on Jabatical. The second year I was at Slash, I, was, I had just beta launched Jabatical two weeks ago. And this time I'm at Slash and Jabatical is changing lives across the globe. But before going to Jabatical, I will talk a little bit about the millennial way of working. And I will tell the story through a millennial, which I am. So I was born in 1983. It was um, a month after Swedish singer Carola had won Eurovision. And though I, I was born behind the Iron Curtain, this was the little piece of information that got through the Iron Curtain. That's my name, Caroli. But uh, 17 years later, I was filling my American dream. I was gradu graduated high school in the US on the East Coast in New Hampshire. And I was waving goodbye to my classmates, many of whom who were heading towards Ivy League schools. Very exciting life ahead. And that to remind you, uh, to those of you who are under 30, it's kind of a history lesson. But that was a time when corporate was not yet a bad word. And dorm room discussions about starting a company were very, very rare. And the success or the kind of dotted line towards success was uh, college to grad school to a steady nine to five job. So that was the time. And when I told my friends in school in US that I'm going back to Estonia because I plan to start a company of a student, out of student company I had just uh, launched a year before, then that's how they looked at me. What? is the career perspective in Estonia. They actually, many of them thought this is my name because nobody ne remembered a complicated name like Karoli, so I was called Estonia in Portsmouth High School. So, but probably they just placed me to this weirdo folder, went ahead with their lives, and I went back to my country to start a company. So fast forwarding to today, what has actually happened? So the generation who started out from learning that the dotted line to a success is college to grad school to nine to five steady job, saw how century old companies collapsed, how economies collapsed, how hollow the promise of a steady job actually is, and then started to think. So if I did the compromise of sitting in this cubicle because I thought this is steady, then everything can, uh, so if nothing is secure, then why not working on something that you actually care about, care about? And then asking the question in 2015, what is the definition of work? We know this guy, we know this guy because he invented a car, but we, it is less widely known that this guy, Henry Ford, is also the godfather of 9 to 5 work week. So we have robots on the stage and we have self-driving cars, but we still work as though we would be part of Henry Ford's factory. At the same time, so people spend hours and hours to commute to work, even if they could actually do the work from home or from any location in the world. And then if you could work from anywhere, you start to think, so, okay, but why do I have to pay $3,000 for a one-bedroom ap apartment in San Francisco if I could live on a tropical island, pay $500, live in a villa and go surfing in the afternoon and just do the same work that I'm doing today. So that is probably why 79% of millennials want to quit their jobs and 64% of them want that freedom to travel while working. At the same time, we see an um, emerging, uh, we see kind of how, how there's a long tail of emerging cities and how the uh, difference between the mature and rapid growth countries is shrinking. Which means that basically there's a long tail of cities that is emerging and attracting talent 
who are clever to get those people to join them, to help to build new cities, new communities, and solve the local talent shortage problem. And this is the reason I founded Chobatical, coming from a tiny country in, in Northern Europe, a country which, looking from America, you might say it's the corner of the world. So what Chobatical does, Chobatical connects tech and business talent who has the wanderlust gene to mainly year-long opportunities in the exciting places of the world. So for example, a software developer from Finland looks outside the window and says, so OK, why, why am I still here if I could do the same work in Bali or Malaysia and had much better weather conditions? Or a startup team in Finland could bring in American marketer for a year to build up a marketing strategy to conquer the world. So that is what we do. Who are our users? 25% of them are from US. There's actually, there was a research that Americans feel very uncomfortable on holiday. So I think Chibatical is just a great mixture of those two when you, 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 you kind of follow your dream uh, destinations while working. We have users from Brazil, India, Portugal, UK, Ukraine. 60% of them are marketers and business developers, and 40% of them product and development. And just especially cool looking at it today. Before, first time when I entered Chobatical into Google, it was empty. The, world, the word was never mentioned. There was only one text that had a spelling mistake. Today, this morning, Chobatical was first mentioned in a dictionary as what it actually means. So we have actually not only invented a new way of working, but a new word. So standing here in Helsinki and coming from Estonia, we both are vibrant cities, vibrant teams. What I'm trying to do with Chobatical is to create a new funnel to bring talent on board, talent that you are not accessing locally. And by doing that, just helping to build more global businesses from our tiny markets in the corner of the earth. So uh, either are you looking for talent from abroad or just having a dream to live in an exciting city of the world, then Come and join our journey, and thank you very much. Hey.